when you use synchronization uh, there's a problem that can occur uh, one of many problems and the one I'm talking about now is called deadlock deadlock is when you've got uh, more than one process but uh, in each process is waiting for the other one to finish doing something so they both get stuck waiting for the other one to do something uh, so in this example here we've got a, a class called friend and that's got two methods called bow and bow back now at the moment I've commented out the synchronized um, uh, um, word but if that was there it would mean that um, for every instance every friend instance only one of only one of these uh, methods could be executed at any one time so um, let's run this program first and see what it does um, so let's save that and you see it prints out Fred, Jack, Jack and Fred. Well, what's happening here? Well, um, we've got this class called blah, which is a thread, and it takes two friends. Uh, it has two friends, and what do we do is we call one dot bow of two, where one and two are the two friends in this class blah. So when we call that with um, Fred and Jack, what's it going to do? It's going to do Fred dot bow Jack. So Fred dot bow Jack is first going to print out Fred, then call out Jack dot bow back, and Jack dot bow back is going to call out is going to print Jack. So it's going to print Fred Jack. Now also we're running Jack dot Fred start. So what that's going to do first, it's going to print um, first it's going to do uh, Jack dot bow Jack dot bow Fred. So that's going to print print out J, uh, Jack and then call Fred dot bow back. Fred dot bow back is going to print out Fred. So we should get an interleaving of Fred Jack and Jack and Fred. If we run it again, we might get a different interleaving. Fred Jack Jack Fred. Fred Jack Jack Fred. Fred Jack Jack Fred. Fred Jack Jack Fred. Um, we're getting the same every time, but there's no reason uh, why we should. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make these things synchronized and see what happens. Now don't forget, uh, what when Jack Jack's bow method is running, then Jack's bow back method can't run until Jack's bow method is finished. And similarly for for Fred. So let's uh, compile and run these, and we see. It gets stuck. It does a Fred and a Jack, and but it doesn't finish doing the 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 other two that it did before. Let's run it again. Fred and a Jack, Fred and a Jack. So it's getting, so it's getting stuck. Why is it getting stuck? Well, let's have a look at this. First, we're calling new blah Fred and Jack dot start. So that's that is calling Fred dot bow Jack. So Fred dot bow Jack is going to print out uh, Fred and then call Jack dot bow back. Now at the same time, then what happens next is we call new blah Jack Fred, and that's going to call Jack dot bow Fred, and and so that's going to be that's going to print out Jack and wait for Fred dot bow back. So they're both so um, uh, uh, Jack can't do this because Fred hasn't finished his bow thing, and Fred can't do this because Jack hasn't finished his bow his bow method. So they're both stuck at this point here. So that's known as deadlock. So by making these synchronized, we have the problem that sometimes things can go wrong.